Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's take a look at your no contact situation and the energies for your person of interest. Page of Swords, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Justice in reverse, Six of Wands in reverse, Ten of Swords in reverse, Six of Swords and the Temperance in reverse from the bottom of the deck. Guys, this person is not in a good position in their life right now. They are looking at you, Page of Swords, so we can say that they are gathering knowledge and information about you. This can be done through social media, mainly, I would say. It's also possible that this person can ask people that you know in common, what's your current status, if you are seeing other people, if there is someone new in your life at the moment. And they can do that because they cannot let go of the connection. They do not want to do that. Ten of Swords in reverse. And the Six of Wands in reverse. They do not want to move on from a situation that at the end of the day was not positive. I am sorry to say that, but this connection was not balanced enough because this person in particular due to the fact that we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Justice in reverse, and the Temperance in reverse, can be someone that may have a tendency to prevail over other people. It's like they want to win. They want to achieve what they want, no matter how another person can feel about that. So the Queen of Pentacles in reverse can describe someone that Unfortunately, it can be a disagreeable individual, someone that doesn't have a real interest in order to find common grounds with those around them. This is not a plus if we think about the opportunity for a romantic connection to be successful, especially in the long run. The justice in reverse puts a further accent on this aspect because this person may not be a fair individual. Maybe they are not fair in their approach when it comes to the communication flow with a potential partner, because there is the Ace of Swords involved in the Justice Major Arcana at the end of the day. We can also say that this can be someone that may try to force certain situations to go their way, even if this can put another person in a difficult position or in a difficult situation because at the end of the day, they do not care. So this pattern is not balanced. It can be extremely difficult to find agreements or even to think about the chance to compromise with this person because compromise from their perspective is merely the opportunity to get what they want. And if this is not possible, they can even get upset, you know? They can hold a grudge about that. This pattern is preventing this person from the opportunity to find real success. So let's say satisfaction. Let's say positive feedbacks. There is no victory when it comes to the interactions with this person. And this person is only able to think about what they want, but they can also become the main reason for outcomes that are not positive in their life. But it's like they can put the blame on other people. You know, it's never their fault. It's always because something went wrong or another person didn't understand them. So they can be superficial at the end of the day, guys. Page of Swords versus Justice in reverse and the temperance in reverse. So it can be difficult to heal this connection even if this person doesn't want to let go of it, the Ten of Swords in reverse. So usually we can say that the Ten of Swords is a harsh completion, it's the end of a cycle. This person doesn't want to do that. They do not want to let go. They still think that somehow, some way, the situation with you can be restored, but this is like 
This is like saying that the two of you can reconnect if you are willing to give in to the desires of this person. You get it? So it's possible to leave the rough waters behind in order to move towards a calmer situation, you know, calmer waters, if and only if you settle for what this person wants. But once again, there is no balance in this mentality. And this person may struggle quite a lot to understand that. The Page of Swords can be the energy of someone that can reach out. It's the only one. It's the only energy that can point this interaction towards the opportunity to be reignited, even if in a simple way. But guys, if we think about future success, uh, I am not sure that it can be a real option when it comes to this connection. And another factor that should be taken into consideration in a situation like this one is one about relief. So for those of you that experienced relief, when this connection kind of stopped, you know, kind of went cold, this is already an answer for you. This is already an answer. If without this person you have experienced more relief in your life, it means that this person was not able to bring a positive influence in your everyday life. So even if they reach out in order to say that they miss you and they do not want to let go of the connection with you, why should you pretend that the struggles that you have experienced never existed? You should remember those struggles as a strengthening factor, let's say, speaking in general, in order to make the best possible decision for you when it comes to a difficult connection with someone that may truly struggle with the willingness and the ability to look for common grounds with a partner. So if you found a way to rock the boat, you should remember that because chances are there were good reasons behind that decision and those reasons should still play a role when it comes to the feedback that you can offer to this person when they can ask you to try again because they are not over you. You will have to play this interaction in a wise and safe way because this can be a final test for some of you guys, but you are smart enough to handle the situation in the best possible way. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.